Welcome, first Heckle Note workout. I've got with me Miss Orlando on this side and Mr. Jesse on this side here. We're gonna go through a quick warm up and then we'll get straight into our first workout for today. So first thing, we're gonna start with our hands on the hips and we're gonna turn our head towards the left. From there we'll turn towards the right, we'll switch again and we'll switch one last time. From here looking straight up and down straight up again, and straight down again. All right, let's draw some circles now with your shoulders, swinging your shoulders backwards, and then forwards, and now twisting side to side. Really loosening up through the hips. From here now, pop your left hand on your hip, we're gonna go into a side stretch with that right arm reaching. So your left hand's gonna push and your right arm's gonna reach over. From there we're gonna switch, repeat on the other side, pushing the hip in one direction, reaching over with the other side. We'll switch again over towards our left and switching again over towards our right. All right, from here we're gonna go into a long stance towards the left side and we're gonna go into a forward stretch. So in this stretch, we're stretching the groin, putting our weight on our front leg and just leaning forward, making sure there's a nice long distance between the two feet. From here now, we're gonna switch, turn your toes, turn your body, leaning forward once again. Good job, guys. Switch again over towards your left side. And one more time over towards the right side. All right, from here, turning our toes forward, we're gonna stretch straight down for the hamstrings. As they go straight down, you can see they're pretty flexible. So what they're gonna do is bring their legs in a little bit closer. There we go. Now from here, coming straight up, no need to lean back, just stand up nice and tall. You can adjust your feet here if you want to, and then we will go down again. The goal is to keep our legs as straight as possible, minimal bend, and try and get your hands towards the floor. Coming up again, we'll try one more time. When you're ready, dropping down, Hold this one for five seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Coming up right, shaking out those legs. Shake, shake, shake. We're gonna do a quick body weight exercise just to get our heart rate up. The first one they're gonna do is just a nice light jog on the spot. Let's go guys, nice and light jog. We're jogging, we're jogging, get that heart rate up. All right, let's go into some star jumps now. Really trying to get our arms all the way up to the top as we loosen up through our shoulders. 10 more seconds here. We've got five more seconds. Four, three, two, and we'll go back to jogging once again. We're jogging, we're jogging, we're jogging. Good job. Star jumps again, let's go. Big star jumps, last time here through the star jumps. Good job, let's go. Fast star jumps now, guys. Go, who's the quickest? Go, 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 go. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. And our last one, we'll go forward and backward switches. Forward and backwards, which is last one here. We're going to try and stay on the tippy toes and the balls of the feet. Don't let your heels get too flat as we switch forward and backwards with these shoulders. Five seconds here. Four, three, two, and time. All right. The first one we're going to get into our fighting stance position. Now, the way we'll do it is Miss Orlando will put her right leg back because she's right handed. Miss Jesse's right handed, but he's going to do it from the left side back. So if you guys are following at home, if you put your right leg back, you're pretty much the same as Mr. Jesse. Okay, so there's two ways that you guys can follow on with the techniques. First thing is fighting stance position. Now you notice that with the fighting stance, we've got the front toes pointing forward, we've got our back toes about 45 degrees out to the side. So my, my back toes are not going to be perfectly forward, we're not going to be sticking out anywhere to the side. We're going to say about 45 degrees. 45 degrees out to the side. Our hands are up near our face, and what we're going to do is practice our bouncing on the spot. So very similar to that forward and backward shuffles, they're just bouncing, trying to stay nice and light on the feet, really getting the calves fired up for this exercise. Now when I say the word switch, what they're going to do is they're going to switch their stance. I'm not going to do it just yet, but Ms. Orlando will switch and put her left leg back, Ms. Jess will switch and put his right leg back. You ready? And switch. And they're in this exact same thing, they haven't skipped the beat, we're still bouncing with the movement. Ready? And switch. Switch, switch. All right, make it happen for them now. Pull out a double switch. They'll do two switches and end up in the exact same position that they're in now. So here we go. Bouncing on the spot and double switch. That's one and two. Then bouncing again. Ready? Double switch. All right, we're trying to confuse them now. If I say double, they'll do two. If I say switch, they'll just do one. Let's see how easy it is to confuse these guys. Here we go. Switch, double switch, double switch, switch, switch. They're bouncing, they're bouncing, ready, double switch. Triple switch. Ah, good job. Switch, switch, and time. Good, shake out those legs, shake out those legs. All right, so that's our fighting stance and our switches. 
Now I'm going to incorporate some striking drills. So let's go back into our fighting stance position. First one I'm going to warm up with is our jab. Now a jab doesn't matter whether you're right-handed or left-handed, the jab is always your front hand. The jab is always your front hand. If you're not sure which is your front hand, whatever leg is in front, left or right, that hand is in front. So from Solanda, left leg's in front, left hand punches. You suggest your right leg in front, and then the right hand will punch. So here we go, guys. Part of my count, you're going to throw out your jab. Ready? You guys five on the home. And one, jab and back. Two, jab and back. Three, four, five. Good, we'll just do five reps for now and we'll build them up later on. The second punch is going to be the cross or a reverse punch. That's your back hand. So, right hand, left hand. As they do this punch, they're going to turn their hips and turn their body as they throw it. Here we go. One, reverse punch. Two, three, four, and five. All right, we're going to put those two punches together now with a jab cross. That means we go front hand followed by back hand and back again. Making sure we keep our hands up. Ready? One, jab, cross. Two, jab, cross. Three, jab, cross. Four, and five. Good. All right, now we're going to combine the movements. They're going to be bouncing on the spot and do the jab, cross at their own time. Off you go, guys. So they're bouncing, and when they're ready, they go jab, cross. Good. They're bouncing again. Notice how they'll stop, they'll plant their feet, and then they'll throw the two punch combination. We're bouncing, we're bouncing. Good job. Looking straight ahead. And as you punch, you want to try and punch with the first two knuckles, the ones that are closest to the thumb. You want them to be right in line with your knuckles. Good job, guys. Ten more seconds. Here we go. Bouncing on the spot with the jab cross. We have six more to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Right now, we're going to practice both sides. They're both going to switch their stances now. Let's practice just... Well, actually, we'll go through the sequences again. Let's do a jab again, we'll cross again, and we'll put them all together. So, front hand, front hand, just the jab. Ready? And one. Two, three, four, and five. All right, hop over the cross now. One, two, three, four, five. Put them together. One, jab, cross. Two, three, four, five. All right, now make it a bit more dynamic. Start bouncing on the spot, guys, and at your own time, off you go with a jab, cross. When you're ready, you go. So we're bouncing, we're nice and relaxed on the feet, and then when we're ready, we go with that jab, cross. So while we're doing this technique, it's a great warm-up. Also get that heart rate up. Keep it going, keep it going. Good job. We've got 10 more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Great job, guys. Switching your stance, go back to our fighting stance position. Let's go through the snap kick. So the snap kick will start off with our back leg first. They'll raise the knee up and they're going to flick it out. Off you go, guys. Show me that snap. Now, when they kick, you can't see from that view, but they're using the shoelace of the foot. So they've really got to point their toes and not hit with the toes themselves. So, by my count, guys, front snap kick and one. And back again. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good. At your own time, guys. Take your time. Go through the snap kick again. Off we go. Now you'll notice that with the snap kick, the heights will go based on how high the knee lifts up. So if I lift up my knee just to this height, then my kick will go just to that height. So the kick is all about how high you lift up your knee, will also uh, be the height of that snap kick. Good job, guys. Give me two more each. There's one, and one more. Fantastic. Switch your stance, guys. Let's try the other side. Go by my count first, and one. Snap kick, and back. Two. Snap kick, and back. Three. Four. Last one here, five. All right, at your own time, let's go. Snap kick once again, working the other side. We will work both sides, especially as we're warming up, so we don't get any indifference and differences, I should say, in our ability to do it on both sides. Good job, give me three more kicks, guys. That's one, that's two, and that's three. All right, switching up our stance. Now we're going to put everything together. So we're going to go with our jab, our cross, and our snap. All right, by my count, guys, ready? Let's do a slowly first. Show me the jab, show me the cross, and then as that hand comes back, we're a little bit early, as that hand comes back, we go the snap. Go. Okay. Good job. Try one more time. Ready? We go jab first, then cross, and then kick. All right, so that's, that's the beat you want. So one, two, three. Ready? We'll try it again. This time, you guys will go by my count. I'll count it, and you guys go punch, punch, and one, and back, two, three, four, and five. All right, now they're gonna make it a bit harder. They're gonna bounce on the spot. Let's go, bouncing on the spot. You guys bounce. 
bounce as well. When I can, do the exact same thing. Ready, hey, keep bouncing, keep bouncing, ready, and one. And back, they're bouncing, they're bouncing, see who's the quickest, two. Good job, bouncing on the spot, ready, three. Bouncing again, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Great job, guys. Switching up your stance, we'll try it on the other side. So let's break it down slowly. Again, I'll get you both to show me your jab. Now follow with you. Go slow again for me, Mr. Jesse. Go the jab. Now throw the cross. And now throw the snap. Good job. Now notice I don't kick with their hand out. So as I throw that snap kick, this hand's got to come back at the same time. We'll go one more time slowly. Show me the jab. Show me the cross. And show me the snap. Great job. That's your own time, guys. By my count. And one. And back. Two. Three. Well done. Four. Five. Good job. So you've got their hands up the entire time. We're going to make it a little bit quicker, guys. Start bouncing on the spot. By my count. Get ready. And one. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Two. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Three. Bouncing again, ready, four. Bouncing again, five. All right, we're gonna go five more a little bit quicker now. Ready, bouncing on the spot, and one, two, three, four, five. And time, come back to ready stance position, guys. Have a quick break. So that was our first drill. From the fighting stance position, we did our bouncing. From the bouncing, we did our switches. Then we did our jab, our cross, snap kick, and then putting it all together. Now they're gonna put everything together by doing their punch, punch, snap kick drill, but they're gonna be switching constantly. So they'll go from the right side back, after they finish kicking, they will switch, they'll go again, they'll kick and they'll switch, and they'll keep going, just three moves, punch, punch, kick. And we're gonna keep going for time. So as soon as I'm gonna get out of their way, they're gonna go punch, punch, kick, and we're just gonna go for time. You guys try and keep up with them. So here we go, guys, fighting sense position. Let's break it down slowly for me. I'll get you both to show me a punch, punch, kick, and land. Go. Now, they come back to their starting position, we'll get them to switch. Go again. Switch. Good. At your own time, guys. Ready in three, two, one, and go. Good. So at your own time, notice that as they do these movements, I'll come back into the frame. You can see as they do the movements, they come back to their starting position. So there's no cheating on the move. They're not going punch, punch, kick, and then landing straight into that other position. They're throwing their movements, they're coming back, and then they're switching, and then they're going again. So we keep going now, guys. Punch, punch, and snap. Good work, keep working. Let's go, 30 more seconds. Oh, it's starting to burn now. Keep going. All this time staying indoors. No coffee shops to go to. <clears throat> Alright, 20 seconds to go. Let's see if you can pick it up a little bit now, guys. Keep going. Keep going. How many more reps can you get in? 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. Lesson number one is done. We'll see you guys back soon for lesson number two.